Three to succeed. World coffee edition. Like out from out from like out in the world. <clears throat> Cause we got up early. Way earlier than we wanted to. <laughs> we were pet sitting our favorite, least favorite dog. <laughs> and uh, you know, he he you know, his teeth get real tasty in the early hours of the morning. So he just lays there going all night. But he's also real sweet and cute and nice. So it's like, you know, you know, it could be worse, I guess. But anyway, here we are. Here we are, World Coffee. So, Fusion's live. <laughs> uh, Fusion's live. And I just, you know, everybody's like, this is my impression of everyone else. All the other content creators right now. Oh, he's so much fun. <laughs> oh my God, he's so much fun. And I don't give a fuck. All right. Everybody needs to shut the hell up. I don't care. I don't want to do a fusion. <laughs> I don't want to do a fusion, dude. Let me read his skills real quick. The beeping never stops either. Have I mentioned that? Drive forward. <laughs> We've been over this. If it's beeping 100% of the time, turn the fucking driver's seat around. That should be forward. All day? It's beeping all day? Are you driving backwards in circles? All right, three hitter. 5% turn meter each. Which just say increases turn meter by 15%. You know, piss me off. AOE leech heals himself by 10% of his max HP for each leech. Bars debuff placed by the skill. Okay. And that's on a three turn. AOE, attack, speed buff and accuracy buff on all allies. Three turns as well. Each increased speed buff placed by this champion increases this champion's speed by five. And it stacks up to 100 and then he's got a 20% lead. He's got 110 base speed. It's like it's cool. It is cool. Um, I just, what am I gonna do with him? What am I gonna do with him? Am I really gonna work to fuse someone else that I'm probably gonna vault? Is that? That's not. Is that Brackus? Or is that just a wolf? No, it's not Brackus. About to say, damn. <laughs> Relax, dude. <sighs> I mean, I gotta say though. Remember when Skinwalkers had nothing going on? That is not the case anymore, huh? They've done a pretty good job of uh, fleshing them out. The 
It's a cool looking champ, dude. That's a dope champ. What does he do? I don't even know anything about him. A1 stun. AoE removes defense buffs. This is an extra hit if he kills someone. Accuracy buff. Crit damage buff on himself and then grants an extra turn. That's dope. Decrease the damage he receives from critical hits by 20%. Counterattacks the attacker when hit with a critical hit. There's a 50% chance of counterattacking the attacker when hit with a strong, normal, or weak hit. Yeah, he's cool. He's fun. Defense. But he's an HP champ. Oh, his HP's high too. All right. Fun. Good boy, tanky. So what do we got? Champ training and dragon. How hard is, is a fusion? <clears throat> 51, 50. It's a four day one though. I still don't know. I still don't know if we want to do it. Oh yeah, there's a 10X coming up. I think it's got the new Void Lego in it. And then... Um, And then some other, I think I saw Lady Kimmy. Yeah, Clyde, Claydna, Claydna. <laughs> A1 Sleep. AoE Leech, Heal, Block the Buffs and Revive on Death. I feel like they, they, they like had Sand Devil in mind with her. But also, she's a Void Lego, so who are you really helping? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, who are you really helping? But, you know, whatever. Played now. And then Staltus, Lady Kimmy, Countess Lix. Solid lineup of, of Legos, but it is a 10x, so... And then the epics, Stag Knight, Ruella, Lady Annabelle, and Too Hot. I have no Legos from here yet, dude. She's the, I saw, I can't remember if I mentioned this in a video or not. I saw a level 55 account with her the other day. <laughs> like they didn't even get 60 yet. They've already spent enough money to get her. Cause I don't think you can pull her from shards, right? And hey, yo, yo. Anyway, let's pop these. See if we can get something interesting. I wouldn't, I wouldn't hate seeing a little bit of gold. I feel like it's been a minute, hadn't it? Hadn't it been a minute since I pulled some, some gold here? They're piling up a little bit on my main account. I got all my first clears and iron twins of the, of the final stage and stuff. I think I've got like 20 of these and like four of the next one. I don't have any Eternals yet. So I've just kind of let them pile up for a decent session sometime soon. Rates are pretty decent here. Just not getting anybody that's like relevant to me. I mean, I guess I can't be upset about the rates, but I will be upset about the pulls. Because they sucked asshole. Well, they sucked assholes. Multiple. Dude, how dope would it be if I had any of these? I'd be stoked, literally, to have any of these. If I ever get a Necrit, it's over. It actually is over. If I ever get a Necrit, it's over. That's, that's it. Necrit and Georgid is plat. I think that's, like, guaranteed plat, pretty much. Four-star Calvalax. 
Yeah, I'd be, I'd be stuck to pull any of these. I'm really enjoying Baron. I've been playing with Baron a lot on my main. I like I like Baron a lot. My strat in Live Arena was um, try to let Baron get a turn. <laughs> that was it. If Baron gets a turn, we win. That was my whole approach. All right, so we get to try some Live Arena at some point on the free-to-play. That'll be an interesting experiment. Ignore defense is an interesting one. Speed. You do you know the, the whales are loving this? Having another great haul to max? I bet they're loving Taking those boxes off, dude. All right, I don't know what to do about this fusion, dude. I know right now I don't want to do it. Seems like a fun champ, but that's about the, the, the extent of it. I don't know that he's gonna do much for me that I care about right now. But I don't know, maybe something will switch later in the day and I'll get motivated to, to do it. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, um, I guess I'm getting out of here. Later. <laughs>